Okay, this is just a quick um, video, instructional video on how to um, play Mega CD games on your PC using the Gens emulator. Um, so, I've downloaded um, a couple of files here, or three files I should say. Um, the links to them are in the description of the video. Um, we've got the Gens 2.14 emulator, uh, we've got the Mega CD BIOS files and just a game, um, just a demo. I uh, basically wouldn't recommend playing it, it's pretty crap. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man vs. The Kingpin. Um, so, basically we're going to have to decompress these files first. Um, we'll just organise them into folders. And gens can pretty much just be dumped in the root here. So, um, I'm using WinRAR. Um, you can use 7-zip, it's just the number 7 like that, and then zip if you want to download it, it's free. Uh, that's the alternative to WinRAR. Um, so, might just dump this into ROMs. You can call these folders whatever you want, by the way. But you just want it, you want it to be neat. You really need the um, compressed folder or our drive or file, whatever you want to call it, um, once it's decompressed you can just delete them. So there's the game in the ROMs folder, um, BIOS files you want in the BIOS folder, shit there's heaps of them, cut, paste, um, and gens which can go right here. Oops, it's already a folder. I don't want that in a folder, so. There we go. So now it's got some structure to it. Um, now, we're not going to get sound at the moment, but I'll just run you through the controller setup and um, all that. Uh, so basically, you want to go options, option, joypads. Um, and then redefine the keys for player one. Now, basically, if you're using a keyboard on your computer, um, you click there. Whatever you hit on the keyboard is going to correspond to the Genesis controller. So, if you want up to be W, I just hit W. Up is now going to be W on the keyboard. Um, D for right, L for A for left, and S for down. That's your typical up, down, left, right configuration on most PC games. Um, in this case, I'll just plug it in. Um, I'm using a USB wireless controller, PC controller. So I'll just turn it on. I would want these to correspond with my controller. So I'll go, um, hang on, it's not working yet. To start gens again now that I've plugged that in. Okay, joypads, read a four. On, up, right, left, down. So I want start to be start. Um, this is a Thrustmaster uh, T wireless if you're interested. Um, it was pretty cheap, I've got two of them in a package. Um, I think 40 bucks. Uh, start, start. Um, I'll just make that X um, circle, square, triangle, and then Y and Z. You'd have to, I guess, use the bumper buttons. Anyway, that's how you set it up. No point going too far in that. So, just open the ROM. Oops, I forgot to configure BIOS files. So, okay, step, go back a step there, you're not opening the ROM. So, you go into here. Um, your BIOS is basically like when you first turn your computer on and it comes up with all the information, it gives you a RAM count and lists all the hardware in your system and that. Um, some new computers you can't see it, um, but that's basically what a BIOS is. Um, obviously, the Mega Drive's got its own BIOS um, when it gets switched on. Um, and we need to point the emulator to the files, which is basically your, your BIOS. 
is generally a hardware thing, but it's, it's been dumped into um, software format, sort of. I don't know how to word it, but this is basically what would boot when you turn your Mega CD on. Um, but now we've got the files for it. Uh, so this one's USA, it'll have a U. Um, there you've got October 92 version 1.10 and June 93 version 2.00. I'd stay away from the ones with the exclamation marks. Um, they usually mean they're incorrect dumps, but they've got different months on them as well. But anyway, I'm just going to go with two. You can go with 1.1. That's the USA one. Um, the Europe one, I'll go with the same version 2 for June 93. And Japan, um, J. There only seems to be a version 1. 791, oops, exclamation mark. I'll just go with this one. You can choose whatever you want, they probably all work. Now they just need to match up with the with the game you're trying to load, so we only really needed to load the USA BIOS because the, the game, as you can see in the folder, is the US Genesis version. It's called a Genesis in USA. It's called a Mega Drive here in Australia. So now that you've got the BIOS set up, the game will load. So I forgot to do that. Controller set up, so I'll just hit start. And it will load, but it won't have um, it won't have music. But um, I thought of a way just before. Uh, I've messed around with computers for a long time, so didn't really take any thinking, it came to me straight away, but um, okay, so there's no sound. Um, I mean, possibly the sound would work from the get-go if you burnt this onto a disc, um, the image file here, um, because that's a format you can just use burning software to burn it. Um, and there's an option here, I think. Uh, boot CD, no. Current CD drive. Anyway, I'm sure you can boot it off a CD, but that's not what we're doing here. Um, this is um, instructions on how to get it to run off your hard drive, how I've got it set up at the moment. So uh, we'll just get out of that for now. I've got to fix the sound issue. So like I said, this this should work on any game. I've just used Spider-Man as, as an example. Um, so you're gonna need Demon Tools Lite. It's free. Um, there's there's other software. There's more. There's other programs out there that can do the same thing. Um, this basically emulates a, a disk drive in your computer. Um, so you can load a CD image without having to burn it and put it in a disk drive. So what I'm gonna do is open up the Spider-Man game in the emulation software bam so what's happened there is that emulation software has given my computer sorry it's given my computer a, a non-existent pretend drive drive f which looks like a disk drive but really it's non-existent that's just what daemon tools has done for me so it's detected the sega cd game as a music cd and it started playing the tracks on it Basically, that's what we should hear when we boot the game. So what we want to do is uh, Gens, Gens um, is compatible with MP3. So go rips settings. Obviously, you've got to open it in Media Player. Um, mine just opened Media Player by itself once it detected the um, the disc as a C as a CD as an audio CD. Um, but you basically want to rip that. So got to check your rip settings in media player um, you want the audio quality to be hang on you want the format first of all it'll default to that you want it to be mp3 um, audio quality just choose the smallest size because I tried best quality it, it wouldn't work it would start playing the music and stop it's not going to make a difference just choose 128 kilobytes per second and um, that's it you want to rip that Shouldn't take too long. Four gigahertz i7. <coughs> so, okay, that's ripped. Um, I know for a fact that Media Player just dumps in the My Music folder. It's in Mr. Big for some reason. That's just where it puts it. So these are the audio files you've just ripped. So this is this is the uh, intro song for Spider-Man. 
Yeah. Anyway, we want these files, so I'm just going to cut them because I don't really want them in my music collection, my non existent music collection. Um, so cut and you want to paste that into your ROMs. So I suppose if you've got more than one ROM, you're going to want to be super neat and maybe make another folder and call this uh, folder. Spider-Man Mega CD or whatever the hell you want to call it. We'll just uh, move them into there. Oops. Beautiful. Try again. Disk soft light bus service. Okay, we have a problem with moving it. Disk bus light soft. You shouldn't have to go through any of this crap. Um, if I didn't try and move it into a new folder, then we wouldn't have this problem. Okay, so I mean, you just want it in different folders to keep it neat. Um, okay, now the only other other issue is these all need to have the same name. It's just got to be formatted a certain way. This file here is not needed anymore. You can literally delete that. You only need that to. Um, load up the uh, image in daemon tools before you extract the audio I'll just get rid of it um, the bin file is what you want now we're going to rename this um, let's just call it spider-man spider-man well they're all called spider-man so we'll just copy that spider-man.bin now these need to go as follows and this, you know Obviously, if it's a different game, you can just make up your own file names or whatever you want to do, but this is Spider-Man, so it's got to be Spider-Man01.mp3, space, sorry, because that's the first file. That's, I know that this is what you meant to hear, so I know that's the first file. Now one's going to become two, so that's going to become Spider-Man. Two. That's going to become three. Spider Man. Three. Now, if you've done anything wrong, um, or you've named them in the wrong order, it, when you're playing the game, the audio files that are meant to be playing are going to load in the wrong order. Now, obviously, you've got to keep going. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Blah blah blah. Um, it's just a demo, so I've renamed three of them. That'll do for now. We'll just quickly reopen Jens. And we should have audio. Controllers are already set up. BIOS is already set up. Load her up. Let's stretch the screen out a bit. Um, hit start on my joypad. Sonic. Yeah, it's like 1 a.m. here. Um, a little bit tired. And, oh yeah, listen to that. So that's it, that's uh, how you play a Mega CD game on your PC with full audio. Um, I'll tend to full screen. I've got my controller set up and if I wanted to, but it's, it's not that good of a game, I could play it.